Hello! Welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here. My name is Mary and today is going to be my Sorry Picks My TBR for the month of September. So in the month of September there's a lot going on and there's actually a couple of readathons that I wanted to participate in that I have sort of at this point tentatively said I'm not going to participate in. I am planning on doing the bare minimum for G from Book Roast's uh, Magical Readathon, which she is redoing this year. Um, it used to be based on Harry Potter, but she has created a whole new world for it, which is really exciting and really cool. I will link her announcement video down below if you would like to see that. The other housekeeping thing I have is that you might notice my background is different. Um, I have moved back to Arkansas, so I'm back in my home. Um, and we also have a new bookshelf. I filmed a whole bookshelf organization tour thing, and I'll link that somewhere in case you missed it so you can watch it if you are interested. And without further ado, Sorry is the game that I play every single month on my channel to determine my TBR. When I play Sorry, the first card that I draw is going to be the number of books that I'm reading that month. And then if I draw Sorry, I will add an additional book. Uh, from that point on, I will go around the board and stop on different prompts, and the prompts will determine the books that I'm going to read. I hope that makes sense. Uh, but without further ado, let's just get into the first card draws. Okay. So we're starting with the yellow on this sci-fi space over here, because that's where we ended last time. And we're only picking two books this month. First prompt is move forward five. Contemporary. So the first card that I drew is actually a two this month, which means that I'm only going to be reading two books, which is perfect, because I am starting my last year of law school. I actually started this week, but things are kicking off. It's a really stressful time to be trying to read a whole lot, so that's the other reason I'm not planning on doing a bunch of readathons. But two books is perfect because I've got a lot of other reading that I have to do for class. And the first prompt that I landed on was to read a contemporary, and for that I'm going to be reading Prep by Curtis Sittenfeld, which I believe is a YA contemporary set in a boarding school. And it just follows Lee Fiora, who is intelligent, observant, and 14, and she goes to attend this preparatory school, and I think it's just about her experiences with the girls at her prep school. I have not read this. I read Eligible by Curtis Sittenfeld a few years ago, which is a Pride and Prejudice retelling, and I really enjoyed that book, but I had not read other books by this author, so I'm very excited to be reading this. I heard really good things about this, actually, when I picked this up. I bought this when I was in Kansas City at a record store slash thrift bookstore and the person who checked me out at that record store told me that he'd heard really good things about this book. So I'm intrigued. Next prompt is move forward 10. And that's a book with queer rep. And the second prompt and last prompt that I landed on for sorry this month was to read a book with LGBT representation, and for that I'm going to be reading The House of Impossible Beauties by Joseph Kassara. This is set in New York City, and I believe it follows a trans main character or a gay main character. Set in the 80s, um, so we all know what that means. Oh, she passed away? Oh. Mm. All right. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> um, but this book is following our main character and he and some of his queer friends start a, I believe, like a drag house or something, um, a gay club, something of that nature. And it's the first one that is primarily Latinx owned, I think, is the premise of this. So I'm really excited to be reading this. It's actually a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. Well, it's only like 400 pages. It looks a lot bigger than I thought it would. I got this copy from the library but I am very, very excited to be reading this book as well. Now, there are a few other things that I'm planning on reading for the month of September, so I'm just gonna run through those really quickly. And again, most of these fulfill prompts for the Magical Readathon. For the Magical Readathon this year, you only have to complete two prompts to successfully get to the magic school or whatever. Again, I will link G's video down below so you can see exactly what I'm talking about, but my plans for that readathon. The first prompt is to read a book with a map, and so for that I'm going to be reading Brandon Sanderson's The Well of Ascension. <laughs> I put this on my TBR last month, but I only got to Mistborn last month, so um, let me open this up and show you. Please have a map in this one. I know that, okay, yeah. A map. So it has a map. This is the second book in the Mistborn series. Um, the Mistborn series basically is set in this fantasy world where people have powers, or some people have powers, based on metals that they can ingest and turn into like 
magical abilities. It's called allomancy. Um, and then characters who can, or people who can ingest all of the metals and have control over all of the powers are called Mistborn. And anyone who can just use one element is called a Misting. And so this is just picking up where that left off. It's very much a like defeat the Dark Lord sort of premise, but in the world, the Dark Lord has already won. And so they're, it's a rebel group trying to sort of reinstate their own power, if that makes sense. Another prompt for the Magical Readathon that I'm planning on completing is the second one, which is a book that is on top of your TBR or keeps tempting you, something to that effect. And for that, I'm going to say The House of Impossible Beauties by Jessica Sara, because I did put this actually on my, like, I think it's like 15 or 20 books I wanted to read this year. I don't know if I ever published that list, but I have it, and I've read most of them. I think I have like five left, so this is going to be one of them, and I'm hoping to read this obviously. And then uh, the other prompts that I'm planning on completing, one of them is a five-star prediction. And for, so for this, I'm going to be reading The Midnight Library by Matt Haig, which I've been planning on reading for like a year now. And I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off because it scares me to read books that I think I'm going to really love, because what if I don't really love them? But it's time. I'm going to be reading the, Mid like, the Midnight Library finally, and I'm really hoping I get this five stars. This is about a woman who tries to commit suicide, and she is taken to this library where in the library is just books full of like alternate versions of her life kind of so she can go into the different books and read about what would have happened in her life if she had made different choices and then somehow this leads to a conclusion I'm not really sure how but I'm very excited to read this it's something that I really find fascinating the idea that the smallest choices that we make could alter our lives completely like you could choose between two different pairs of shoes and maybe if you wore one pair of shoes someone would have complimented those shoes and then become your best friend you know what i mean like it's so like the smallest things could make a big difference which sounds really cringy and weird but i think it's true so i'm really excited to read this because that's just a concept that i love and then the last prompt for that is to read a book with a school setting and so i'm gonna read prep We've come full circle now. I've talked about the four books that I'm planning on reading this month. I'm also planning on doing two secret TBR vlog videos. And so obviously for those, I'm not gonna tell you what I'm gonna be reading for them, but keep your eyes peeled. And that's gonna wrap up this video. So let me know in the comments down below if you've read any of these books and how you felt about them if you have. Also, let me know if you're participating in G's Magical Readathon. Let me know if you're participating in Becca's Bookopolathon. That's one of the ones that I was planning on doing, but just coming up with a TBR for that was stressing me out. So I've decided I'm probably not going to do that. If I do decide to do it for like a weekend, I will film it and vlog it and show it to you, but I'm not promising that because again, I'm really, really busy right now. But thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you would like to see more content from me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!